Primary epithelium is one place where there is mucous membrane. Epithelium is the surface that those epithelial cells. Um, we're going to talk about the respiratory membrane in a little bit. This is different. This is um, mucous membrane. So we're talking about a place where mucus is produced. That's going to be in part these goblet cells, which are mucus producing cells. And also respiratory epithelia are associated with submucosa where there are um, glands that produce mucus as well. This example here is the trachea. We're going to see a couple other places as well where there's respiratory epithelium in the respiratory tract. So the purpose of this tissue type is to keep junk from getting to the lungs. So that mucus is part of that. Um, mucus is then shuttled out with these little cilia, which are mobile cytoskeletal extensions. So they actually can move. And they are going to brush debris and mucus that's caught, has caught debris and smoke and things you might inhale um, out of the respiratory passageways. The cilia are located on the, these pseudostratified columnar epithelial cells, which look kind of like they're stratified, but they're not. They're just kind of funky shaped. That's that pseudostratified. And they're ciliated. That's important. So their structure is important for the, their function in that respiratory passageway. Respiratory epithelium is this pseudostratified columnar epithelium plus the lamina propria is underneath it. Connective tissue, typically areolar tissue. And we know that mucous membranes are made up of an epithelial layer plus their underlying connective tissue. So respiratory epithelium, that's what it is. Where is it besides the trachea? Well, these pictures here, here it is. So this is our respiratory mucosa, I will call it here. It's the same thing as the respiratory epithelium. This is also respiratory mucosa. And most of the respiratory tract is composed of this tissue type. So I'm going to put stars next to where this is located. The nasal cavity, you probably know your nasal cavity produces mucus. Your trachea, we've already talked about. And then in between there, this here, label this trachea, is your larynx right down here. Your bronchioles, bronchi, I'm sorry, the bronchi are these two main ones here that also has respiratory epithelium, basically the passageways, except for the ones where food goes. So if food goes there, we don't want it to be respiratory mucosa. Instead, we want stratified squamous. Why? Protection. So you already know, I'll put a purple star for this. The esophagus is stratified squamous. The oral cavity is also stratified squamous. And this makes sense, but most of the pharynx is going to be stratified squamous because food goes there. That is this here. Those protective layers that can regenerate quickly and produce new cells like your skin. The oropharynx and the laryngopharynx are both stratified squamous. The nasopharynx is up here. Food doesn't go through there unless you're storing up milk, which your body is not actually designed to do, believe it or not. Food should not be going through there. 
So if food goes through, it's going to be stratified squamous. If food and air go through, it could be, it's going to be respiratory mucosa, just air, typically respiratory mucosa, except let's keep going down into the lungs. This is the most important part here. This is simple squamous, which is going to be present at the alveoli, the air sacs, and the respiratory bronchioles, which are the thinnest bronchioles where respiration does occur. So what I mean by respiration is gas exchange across the cells. We want to minimize area of diffusion. We will see this more in detail um, when we get to alveoli. Here is a picture though of these alveoli. You can see the simple squamous um, air sacs that thin, thin, thin is the point. In between the respiratory mucosa and this simple squamous is cuboidal. Not really something I'm ever going to talk about again. Um, it's basically, we have to transition from one tissue type to another. That's going to be in the rest of these like conducting bronchioles and smaller um, other, other bronchioles. So, so simple cuboidal. Okay, so respiratory mucosa, again, we're trying to get, keep stuff from getting to the lungs, um, getting debris out. We're also humidifying the air and warming it before it gets to the lungs. That's primarily in the nasal um, cavity. Okay, let's check your learning here. Here is the hard palate, so bone across right here. Here is oral cavity. I'm sorry, this one is nasal cavity. This is oral cavity. What tissue types are these? And how do you know without looking it up, right? Based on, does food go there? Here's a picture of them in case that helps. 